as you can tell, Sheila's not with me. It's really odd being without her. Uh, we've never really spent a night apart since we've been together, so it makes it a little bit tougher uh, being out here without her. She has been sick the last uh, two weeks. Uh, we went home two weeks ago uh, to see a doctor. Found out she had a kidney stone. She, her, she'd been hurting really bad in her back and stuff. So we went home and seen the doctor. And uh, while I was home, I decided to go back out and run a couple of loads, you know, to make some money, keep the money coming in. And she stayed at home. And, uh, her aunt was in really bad shape, too. They had called hospice in on, on her and uh, they wasn't sure when she was going to pass away. She passed away Wednesday night when I was out on the road. Uh, they had the uh, layout and the funeral on the weekend. So I came in and went with her over the weekend on that. Got to meet her sister finally uh, and her husband. And got to see her brothers again. It's uh, pretty sad most of the times. The only time you really get to see your family is either at weddings or funerals. So it's a sad occasion but joyous to see the family uh, so that Monday she decided she's going to try to go back out with us or with me and she uh, made it to Wednesday her back started hurting her really bad again so she uh got a hold of my sister, which uh, she works as a nurse practitioner for a kidney doctor, so she wanted to get her in and get her checked out. She said it could be pretty serious. Uh, come to find out it's her kidneys are good, her bladder is good. Uh, they just run a few more tests to see what's going on why her back still hurt. And uh, that's about the gist of what's going on, why we haven't been doing videos and stuff. Uh, she's been having a rough time. She also uh, texted me the other day. She went down to get something to eat. And uh, she texted me the other day and said, Please don't divorce me. And I said, what's wrong she's like I wrecked your truck and she uh, ended up uh, denting the bumper uh, there was a trailer in front of her that she didn't see it was set really low so she bumped into it nothing major but when she called me on the phone uh, a little bit later I said Hold on, I got my divorce lawyer on the phone. <laughs> she she uh, uh, didn't find that too funny, but I thought it was hilarious. I wouldn't divorce her. It's only a truck. I'm going to tell you what my dad used to say. He used to say, a vehicle can be replaced. A person can. And that's the same philosophy I keep. You know what? It's only a piece of metal. And it will. it can be replaced. She can't. I mean, I'm glad she's okay, and there wasn't nothing major. So, that was a interesting, funny day. And then, she just she just has the worst luck. She also uh, texted me the other night saying, I picked up the wrong keys and I locked myself out of the house. And uh, my dad has an extra set, so dad had to come down and let her in the house. She's a... Uh, having a rough time right now but I miss her 
and hopefully she'll be back in a better shape pretty soon. Uh, I guess we'll find out more probably Monday. We got a big video coming up uh, to share with you. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, I ain't gonna say not, not nothing more because you're just gonna have to wait and see what it is. It's uh, very exciting for her. me and Sheila. She's uh, she can't wait. We've been waiting a while, uh, so we will be sharing that with you coming up. If you uh, haven't guessed on that other video uh, for the giveaway, we will be doing that as soon as we get back together do it together so if you haven't guessed go find the video of the picture and you can win a $25 gift card and we will be doing the drawing very soon so thank you for watching and God bless and goodbye